Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export or render only part of the composition that you need without having to render the entire timeline. So first, we're going to create a work area. This is going to be the section of your composition that you want to export or render. Then I will show you how to export or render the work area section using the render queue in After Effects. And I'll also show you how to do it using Adobe Media Encoder. I'm going to drag the CTI to the three second mark. This is where I want the work area to begin. So I'm gonna tap the letter B to set the beginning of the work area. Then I'm gonna drag the CTI to where I want the work area to end. So I'm gonna drag it to the 12 second mark. I'll tap N to set the end of the work area. And the work area is really useful in After Effects as when you set the work area and tap the space bar to preview your composition, it's just going to loop that work area section over and over again. And if you ever want to reset the work area so it's the entire length of the composition, all you have to do is just double click anywhere inside of the work area. And now you'll see it's at the beginning and the end. And to export or render only the work area section of your composition, first make sure that you have either the composition window or the timeline panel selected. Then you go to the top menu, go to file, export, add to render queue you can also go to the composition menu choose add to render queue or use the keyboard shortcut command or control m that is going to send your composition to the render queue panel down in the timeline and the setting that you're looking for is in render settings so i'm going to click on best settings you can just confirm everything up here looks good we want it at full resolution we're going down to time sampling and where it says time span length of comp is going to export or render your entire composition or the entire timeline if you only want to render the work area set the time span to work area only you will see the duration over here of what's going to be exported so we have nine seconds in one frame i'll click ok for the output module choose the format that you want to render. I'll choose this H.264, 40 megabits per second. You can also click that to customize any of the settings. Then go to output two. This is going to be where you name the file and choose the location to where you want to render. So I'll click, give it a name. I'll save it to my desktop, click save. And to render, all I have to do is just click on the little button in the top right corner You'll see the progress bar. You'll hear the notification when it's done. Now when I go to my desktop, there is the exported or rendered file of only the work area. And to do the exact same thing, export or render the work area only using Adobe Media Encoder. Again, make sure you have either the composition window or the timeline panel selected. Then go to the file menu, Go to export and choose add to adobe media encoder queue you can also go to the composition menu and if you can remember there's a keyboard shortcut option command m and that's going to send the composition adobe media encoder i'll go to the preset browser window if you don't see that go to window preset browser i'm going to click on the search and type youtube as i know there's a youtube 4k preset i'll select it and drag it right onto the output I can click on either the format or the preset link here. It's gonna open up the settings and go below the preview window here where it says source range. If I click this, you'll see you have the option to export the entire composition or your entire timeline or only the work area. So I'll select the work area only, click okay, go to output file and click. Give my file a name, choose the destination to, and click on save and just click on the green play icon in the top right corner to start the queue. You'll see the progress bar and there are the two exported or render files. And that is how to export or render only the work area in your composition of Adobe After Effects CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy, cheers.